So if you've been on my channel as of recent, chances are you've noticed the little bright orange mascot I use to represent myself in all my videos. This little guy's name is Clyde, and after I made him for this channel, he's become one of my favorite characters I've ever designed. But what if I told you he wasn't my first choice? No, in actuality, I had a lot of different candidates for my channel mascot way before Clyde was ever a thing, each one of them individually being scrapped for whatever reason. So that's what I want to talk about today. In this video, I want to go over each character I planned on making the mascot of this channel before I made Clyde, and give a little explanation as to why I ended up scrapping them. So without further ado, let's delve into it. Let's start things off with the very first of my channel mascot ideas, Winfrey. Winfrey is actually my oldest character I still use in my art today, being first created back in 2017. Because of how long I've been drawing him and how important he is to me, he was my immediate first choice to be the channel mascot when I started working on it. I even still have an old profile picture and banner saved to my computer that I planned on using back when this was going to be the case. So why did I end up scrapping him? Well, it was for two reasons. Firstly, Winfrey is a character which lacks a lot of complex expressions. I made him to be this giant towering monster that shows little emotion in the first place. So rather than trying to redesign him to fit my style of video making, I decided to make a new character altogether. The other big reason I had for scrapping Winfrey was the fact that he was just too involved with the story I made him for. When I drew or even saw Winfrey, all I could think of is the story that he's very deep rooted into alongside many of the other characters I've made to go with him, so it doesn't feel right having him represent me and my videos. So with Winfrey scrapped as my first mascot, I began the process of trying to make brand new characters specifically designed for my channel, and that's where we meet the first of these attempts, a character I made named Snakebat. Snakebat was a character I messed around with a lot when I was making potential mascot designs for the channel. His first iteration was supposed to be this really tall, lanky character with mix and matched clothing and asymmetrical eyes, which may look a little familiar to you now. Back when I made Snakebat, I made him with the idea of him being treated as some strange news anchor type character, who would report on strange events I made up and then discussed whatever the game was I wanted to talk about in that video. It was a weird idea that I quite liked at the time, but the big thing I didn't like was Snakebat's design. I found myself constantly juggling different ideas with Snakebat's design, but I never seemed to be able to make one I was completely satisfied with. His original design was this bony, bat-like humanoid with a long face and patchy looking clothing. With this design, I was really worried that he wasn't expressive enough, and I wasn't a fan of the colors for his clothing or his body type. So I experimented with different face shapes and color palettes while also trying to shrink him down, until eventually I got this final design as the result. While I did end up liking this design quite a lot, I still had some problems with using it as a mascot. Those problems mainly came in the form of the character's expressions. With the way his face was, it was really, really hard to draw him with any expressions other than what he looked like by default, but I didn't want to redesign him anymore because I ended up really liking him in his current state. So I ended up scrapping both him and the news anchor idea I made with him, since it felt too ingrained into the character to use with anyone else I made for the channel. Snakebat did end up making a very slight reappearance in this channel though, because when I ended up designing Clyde for the first time, I actually reused the concept of his slitted asymmetrical eyes for Clyde's, since it was my favorite part of his design. After I scrapped Snakebat, I tried moving my mascot designs more in a personalized direction, making them have colors and design features that I thought represented me as an artist and creator. I also made a much greater effort to give them a complex variety of expressions so I wouldn't hit the same roadblock I did with Snakebat and Winfrey. The design I ended up coming up with as a result of that design process was this character which was meant to be a monstrous interpretation of how I look in real life. This Sona I made for myself was going to function just like Clyde does on the channel, with the special gimmick I had for them being that they would change their color palette for every expression they had. 
I don't really have much else to say about this one, honestly. I ended up scrapping it because I kind of just wanted to make something a bit more creative than a self-portrait, choosing instead to make a brand new character entirely. This eventually led to another potential mascot that I actually ended up really liking named Grimzo. Grimzo was this little ghost dude I made for the channel that had a very strong emphasis on a simplistic design and a spooky Halloween thematic. At this point, I had a pretty good idea for what I wanted my channel's theme to be, so I made Grimzo to fit it while also being easy to draw multiple times over. Out of all the potential mascots I made, Grimzo was the one that got the closest to becoming my final choice. I found him really fun to draw, he was expressive, and he looked pretty unique. So why did I end up scrapping him? Well, in the case of Grimzo, it wasn't necessarily what was wrong with him, it was more so what I wanted from a character that represented my style and content. Grimzo was very cute, but his overall design and theme was just that of a spooky ghost without much other inspiration outside of that. When I came up with Clyde, I took inspiration from a ton of different things that appealed to me, mixing them together into one character design. He had my favorite colors as his main palette, he used the eyes of another scrap character of mine that I really liked, his body was made to be reminiscent of an old Halloween costume which was inspired by Sam from Trick or Treat and Lock, Shock, and Barrel from Nightmare Before Christmas. When I made Clyde, I could see all my sources of inspiration present in his design, making me absolutely fall in love with him in a way that Grimzo didn't. Grimzo just seemed like a fun little character meant to convey my points, while Clyde felt like a Frankenstein's monster of all my interests, making him my obvious choice. To end things off for this video, we have my final scrapped mascot, Lankman. Lankman was going to be my mascot back when I wanted this channel to be a I'm going to be